it lasts more than just that initial shot. Uh, it lasts for years and years to come. So let's always keep those who lost the loved ones in the prayer. As a matter of fact, to be honest, most of the times when you go to a funeral, your mind goes back to your loved ones. Amen. All right, so uh, let's just be mindful of that and let's pray for all the ones who lost the Good to see everybody here on the day. If you're a father, we say happy Father's Day to you. We pray God has been good to you. Uh, we pray that you have uh, tried your best to be the great father that we know you could be. So, uh, we pray for you today, now on the day. And I pray for most of the fathers every day. Amen. 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 Even when they grow up, you still. Yes. Mom and dad. Yeah. Amen. So, happy Father's Day to you. Uh, we're going to ask you to stay a few minutes after service. Uh, the sisters have prepared a little gift for all you fathers. And so, after service, if you don't mind staying with us, uh, then uh, you will be appreciative to what uh, the sisters have tried to do for all the fathers. Amen. Uh, we're going to pray for a little baby. Uh, let's pray for Jolene. The face of Rosa, the face of the wheel. Uh, let's pray for everybody that you know uh, is here and sick. I don't know if I say some of the for her. But even those who are here, let's pray for the face of Diane. Uh, she's here. Let's pray for those who are traveling. Uh, as y'all know, we are right to be traveling. We're back. Uh, so we thank God uh, to be back. So we're just praying. I pray that all of you will uh, look around and see who's not here. Mm -hmm. and let's pray for you in the past way. Uh, before we give way to open in prayer, I'm going to ask you if there's anybody here who stands in need of prayer, anyone here who has any special request you need to make, that you'll make that known before we uh, pray. Very good. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. 
think will allow us to be in this place. Just right now time. Mm -hmm. Thank you because we're here among the living. Yes. And there are many who like to be where we are. Yes. And so we celebrate life and we celebrate the give of life to you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for everything you've given us to help us to make it to this day. Our very being, our entire life, is dependent on you. Yes. And we realize that every good and every perfect gift comes from you. Yes. And so today, with hearts of gratitude and thanksgiving, we approach your throne. Yes. And I pray that all of us, even though sometimes we think we don't have much, we have more than a whole lot of people. And in that, we say thank you. And in Nazareth, we thank you for the roof over our heads, the food that we put and place into our bodies, friends, loved ones. Yes. We just thank you, dear Master, for being a great God you are. We're mindful of those who don't have what we have. And so we pray that you will lead us to have a heart to help those who can. We pray for this body of believers that meets here. We pray for this body of believers that are right in your sight that you will bless us. Yes. We also pray, dear Master, for the goal we have in this moving here and building uh, a holy purpose, please, that you will help us to that goal. Yes. We depend on you. Yes. We trust in you. Yes. Your Master, we just ask you to guide the hearts of those yes. making that decision. Yes. Help us today. Help us. Have a great day with streams. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Okay. I believe songs today because I won't be preaching. All right. Amen. Amen. Okay. 409. To Canaan's land I'm on my way. Amen. Amen. I need everybody to get a book. I need everybody to sing. This is our solo. I can never see you. Amen. Amen. And that also means don't you seem so low, I can't hear you. Amen. 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 409. To Canaan's land.
something I don't normally do. Anybody got a request? No. One. I'm going that way. One. Yeah, one. One. Go ahead. We're we'll doing that later. <laughs>
solo meditation, so good charisma is page 580. Page 580 is the hour of solo good charisma, nothing but the brother. Before the man of the hour comes to speak to us today, Brother Kenneth, uh, we'll sing God is real. I was looking the phone, I couldn't find it, so we know it, so we're going to sing it. God is real. Oh, There are some things I may not know.
today, right now, I want to thank God for Brother Harold. Amen. And for what he means to all our lives. Amen. But God put in him for me to have opportunity to be a man, to stand up and share God's word. Amen. Now, I can't guarantee you me. I can't. But the Bible says we all have sinned in front of the of God. Amen. But I'm here to proclaim Christ and Him crucified. Yes. I'm not here to talk to you about no politics. Amen. I'm not here to talk to you about gossip Amen. or any of that. Amen. For that's just a waste of time yes, and actually a waste of oxygen. Amen. We ought to be encouraging one another. Amen. For all of us are going through something. I, I, yeah. and, and, and I want to share with you first Peter. I mean uh, second Peter. Second Peter. I want to, I want to share some good words. But I'm not gonna be long. I know a lot of preachers say that, but I won't. <laughs> you guys hear that a lot from preachers. And some people say, well, he just lied. He said that. Brother Peter, what can we say about Brother Peter? Come on, man. The one that was given the key to the kingdom. The one that had that conversation as he was walking to Christ. You know what he said, Brother Adam? Jesus said, I got to go away. And he said, I must die. But Peter said, no, Lord, I will die for you. Mm -hmm. I will give my life for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm wondering, how did Jesus look at Peter when he said that? Because well, he knew what was in yeah. Peter's heart. Yeah. He knew. He, he knows all things. Yes, he must have stepped back and look at Peter <laughs> and said, okay. <laughs> so Peter saying that he would die for me you know that's like us that reminds me of me and a lot of us how we say we're going to give our life to Christ how we say ask God if you get me out of this trouble I promise I'm going to give my life to you not Realizing the promise we made yeah. to God. And God is going to hold you accountable yes. for that. Peter, who denied Christ three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He denied it three times. And then Jesus asked him three times. Oh, Do you love me? Now, he might have been upset because if you read the scriptures, he'd be, Lord, you know. <laughs> no, I don't know, Peter. Sure. And the same can be for us. You know that scripture that says, what shall separate you yes, from the love of God? No, 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 I'm telling you guys. Read it slowly. But more than read it slowly, understand it and let it meditate in your heart. Yes. What shall separate you, me, us, from the love? I'm not talking about that love that you read in the dictionary. A feeling. No. I'm talking about love in spite of you. You understand? In spite of me. I stand before you here with tears in my eyes wanting you to understand this God loves me at my worst. No, no, no. no. But how? At your worst. He loves you. Some of you sit there this morning not realizing how precious you are in the sight of God. <coughs> you didn't chose him. Come on, preacher. He chose you. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. I'm 64 years old. Wishing my hair would go back and turn to black. <laughs> but I know that's not gonna happen. I know that's not gonna happen. When I was younger, 
I was afraid of being older. Y'all you understand? Yeah. Some of you don't understand it. You never got there yet. <laughs> but now that I'm older, I don't want to be younger. <laughs> Y'all understand that? <laughs> you don't understand that? Well, if you look at the news, and look at what's happening in this world today, I wouldn't want to be 17 again. I'm happy where I'm at. No, 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 no. I'm blessed. Yes. You're blessed. Yes. As we get older, Brother Harold, we're blessed. Yes. Some kids, some people don't make it there. Yes. Some babies don't make it there. Yes. We're blessed beyond measure. Yes. And I want to share with you what Peter is telling us. Because in 2 Peter, he breaks it down in three formats. In chapter 1, he talks about explanation. He talks about the knowledge of Christ. And that's what we need to all have understand about the knowledge of Christ. People are missing the understanding about the knowledge of Christ. About who Christ really is. When we understand what Christ has truly done for us and understand that gospel that he gave to his disciples or his apostles to share with the world and then when we become his disciples, you know the word disciple, a follower of? You can be a disciple of Jesus. You can be a disciple of the devil. Or you can be a disciple of yourself. A follower of. When you're not living a righteous life, you're a disciple of? Come on. Yeah. Him, him. Come on. Mm. Because God is light. Come on now. And the Bible says that in him is no darkness at all. Amen. You either with him or you're against him. Amen. You either a friend or you're an enemy. That's how the Bible puts it. Yeah. Reconciliation. You know what reconciliation is? It means that you're a friend of God. When you don't reconcile your life to God, you become an enemy of God. And listen, me, I don't mind having any person as my enemy. I can deal with that. I can deal with it. Been dealing with it all my life. <laughs> But to have God as an enemy, you don't want that. Chapter 2, in 2 Peter, he talks about examination. What he examined in chapter 2 is about false teachers. Those false teachers that's going around the world teaching honest to good, caring people a lie oh, about right. Christ. Yes. Sincere yes. people. Sometimes you don't even know when you look at a, a, a Christian in the church and you look at somebody who's very sincere, you'd be like, come on, oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd be like, wow. The only difference about that sincere person is that he hasn't given his life to Christ. But he's sincere. And if we can go out there and teach them, instead of beating them up, meet them where they are, brothers and sisters, and allow the light to shine. Allow the light to shine. I said I wasn't worthy because at times, my thoughts process drift back and forth sometimes. Mm. And I gotta grab myself. Yeah. I gotta step out of myself. And I gotta look at myself. And see, am I understanding who I am? Mm. Or I'm allowing this world to dictate to me who I am. Because you know there's a lot of voices that we hear. Y'all know that. Mm -hmm. 
It's a lot of forces that hit us, Brother Al, from everywhere. Yeah. And sometimes those forces draw yeah. us away from the yeah. truth yeah. and yeah. pull us into a lie. Thinking that you're better off. Like, remember what, what Satan told Jesus? Yeah. 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 Turn these stones into bread. And this is what I'm going to give you. And then we buy into that. But then, my inner man, my inner man grabs a hold of me and say, he can't offer you nothing. Because none of it belongs to him. That's right. But we buy into that though. We buy into thinking that we're gonna be here forever. I'm gonna build me a place right here forever. Not realizing that we're just passing through. Yes, Brother Peter is a prime example for us, I believe. For who we are. I know for who I am. Because when I read the scripture, and I read the scripture many times, I said to myself, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapter 3. He talks about exhortation. Exhortation. How we ought to exhort one another. Yeah. Why are we beating each other up? Why are we talking about one another? Why are we not focusing? Look, it's enough for us to, to focus, to keep my sanity as a Christian. <laughs> It's enough for me. Yes. When I try to go out there and try to do some stuff that I shouldn't be doing, man, my head is all messed up. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but my head is all messed up. And listen, there are certain things that are that that will attack us. Yes. Yes. Mind. Yes. Yes. Body. Yes. yes. Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Emotions. Yes. Satan attacks all those things. Yes. 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 Oh, and look, you're going to use people in your family. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's where it strikes us the, the most. It hurts yeah. us. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, you're using all sorts of things. And look, we will start depending on things that we shouldn't be depending on. Yeah. 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 Your will. <laughs> we give up our will to those things that we hold as our gods. Mm. You heard me? I didn't say God. I said God's. <laughs> Little G. With that S that they get. <laughs> because those things that steal our will become our God. What is it, Brother Celestine? What is it that steals your will? Well, my will, I know what mine is. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I see you waiting for me to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Because I, I deal with my own. Yeah. And I know when it tries to come in, it's going to accept me behind my head and try to take me in another new direction. I got to stand still. Amen. <laughs> but of course, you said that yes, yes, get the funeral. Yes, you got to stand yes. still. Amen. You got to stand still. God wants us to stand still and know that He is yes. God. Yes. 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 Right. Yeah. And know that I need to trust him and not yeah. allow yeah. myself to trust, even trust in myself. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't we lie to ourselves sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. We trust ourselves. Y'all know we trust ourselves. Oh, I think I can do it. <laughs> I think I can do it. <laughs> Maybe I can slide around God and do it myself. It don't work that way. <laughs> we have to be solely dependent on him. Yes. And guess what, y'all? He don't mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He doesn't rhyme. Yeah. It's when we are weak. That's when he is strong. Yeah. Through your weakness, yeah. God will hold you. Yeah. When I sit back and think about all my aunts and my uncles that passed away before my mom did. My mom was the last one. In our family. <coughs> All my own, gone. My aunt, gone. My mom, gone. And I sit back and think about that. Do you guys think about that? Oh, yes. 
Do you really understand that we're not here forever? No. Come on. <coughs> we need God in our lives. Yes. So Peter talks about exhortation, which is lovely. Look what he says in 2 Peter chapter 3. He says, this is my second letter to you, dear friends. And in both of them, I have tried to stimulate your wholesome thinking. Mm. This morning, I'm going to use his words. <clears throat> because we're going to let the Bible do the talking. Come on, man. See, one thing I learned from a preacher that I love dearly is that you let the Bible yes. do the talking. Possibly to you what it means. Some of us preachers go wrong behind this pulpit. Because we start putting our own ideas in the scriptures. And listen, I don't want to be nobody's famous preacher. I just want God to know my name. And I want him to call my name. And I want him to say, well done. I don't it doesn't matter what you guys think about me. It don't. I can't live for people. I've had people say one day uh, he had a he went to the congregation, you're driving an old raggedy car for the hour and the raggedy car was smoking and they was they were saying, well, they don't wonder why that old preacher don't give him a new car. That's what the church was say. That one day he decided to spend his money, got him on Mercedes Benz. Okay. Oh. Drove up in the Mercedes Benz. Where he got the money from? <laughs> Look, I don't want to be too long. I'm going to be done pretty soon. He says, 
most important in memory. I want you to remember what the Holy Prophet said long ago and what our Lord and Savior commanded through your apostles. He said the most, but most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, scufflers will come. So when do you think the last day was? Yes. Or is? Yes. Huh? Because some people think, it's not yet. When he talked about the last days, guess what? That was the last day. Yes, sir. Yes. That was the last day. People come. He called them scufflers. Will come. Walking the truth. Mm. And following their own desires. Well, I call those guys in the pulpit that does such things pimps in the pulpit. Oh, well, yeah. 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 They're pimping God's people. Yeah. 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 And that's a shame. Yeah. That's a crying shame. Yeah. But here's the sad thing we got these big extravagant churches. Well, buildings, I should say. Thank you. These extravagant buildings where you got the football, NFL football players, and you got the doctors and the lawyers and the politicians and all of them attending there. And guess where we flocking in? We want to go in there and rub elbows with the NFL players. We want to rub elbows with the politicians. We want to. You just need to ask yourself, is Jesus there? Yes. 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 Is Jesus there? Or you need to ask yourself, what are you looking for? Because you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Alright. Come on, preacher. We shall separate you from the love of God. Amen. He says. He says. Most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, couples will come mocking the truth and following their own desires. They will say, what happens to the promise that Jesus is coming again? What happened? Y'all know, uh, we talked about uh, the Hill Bob Comet. Everybody remember that? Yeah. That's when these people thought that a comet was going to come yes, and they going to get on it. And he had all these bags packed in front of these bags. <laughs> I'm wondering where they were going with the bags packed. I'm still wondering that because the bags will still be there. Yeah. But they all committed suicide. Yes. Yes. Jim Jones. Yes. He told people to step on the Bible and it was raining and lightning struck. And it says lightning didn't strike him. He said, well, people start believing in Jim Jones. Yes. Then he started making some Kool-Aid with some signs. Yes. And he gave it to him, and they drank it. Yeah. Oh. Uh. And he got David Koresh. Oh, That's him. Uh, called himself the Lamb of God. Oh, man, oh, he was sleeping with everybody's wives. Come on, brother. Doing all kind of despicable thing, and then yeah. he got all those people killed. Yeah. Yeah. Calling himself that. Now, that, that, that was another guy that was a little foreigner who dressed all in white. Yeah. He had a white cowboy hat. Oh. See, I'll be watching these things. I don't know about y'all. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm watching. <laughs> because when I decided to follow Jesus, I wanted the truth. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. I wanted the truth. I said that once I give my life to Christ, I'm not playing with this. Amen. Yeah. I want to be devoted to God. Yeah. I want to be devoted oh, yeah. to God like I was devoted to doing wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I was cutting big Jim by two eggs. <laughs> Some people say one egg. I was cutting it by two eggs. All right. You know how they say the people brought this uh, 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 Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. Not me. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, all oh. over oh, again. <laughs> That's why I sit here with tears in my eyes. Thank you, the good Lord, for changing my life. It was only because of him. I didn't even know he had his hand on me the whole time. I cried many nights with my wife because of the life that he has allowed for me to have and the change that 
he put in my life. Yes. And the opportunity that he has given me. Mm. He used men like Brother Harold. Come on, brother. Brother Dutch. Come on, brother. And a bunch of brothers in here and sisters in here that encourage each other. So when we talk about exhortation, yes, sir. Yes. we talk about encouraging one another. Yes. 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 What, what is wrong with us encouraging each other? That's right. What is wrong with that? When I was a young boy, look, when somebody saw me doing something wrong, they would encourage me. They would tear me up. Then I call myself mad, going home crying. When I'm asking, what happened? Well, I, so and so just hit me with stuff, put a stick over the belt. And then I tell her, she was like, well, what did you do? Well, I did this and that, so, so she would go say it. Amen. We call that, we call that to the encouragement. I gave it on the challenge. That was an encouragement. And when you thought that they got away, remember? She would say, go ahead, sleep, eat, take a bath. You get in the bed, yes, and you say in your mind, I thought this was <laughs> 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 That was an encouragement. <laughs> that was an encouragement. A lot of us understand that. If something's not broken, we don't need to fix it. That's not broken. It's in the Bible. It talks about sparing the rock. Yes. Yes. It's in the Bible. Are we Christians? Are we Christians? So when the judge or the police officer come to my house and say, I'm a Christian. You say, what you mean? And you bring that Bible to him and show him. Right there. See? See what it says right here? Spare the rock. Spare the rock. But we allow them to call so some so-called dial 911 for the for the child abuse people uh. come. And I remember what your mom said. You want some too? <laughs> you gonna give them some too. I'm talking about exhortation. I'm talking about yeah. encouraging. Yeah. Are we losing that, y'all? As a church, are we losing the ability to encourage one? My Lord. Are we so busy allowing this world or distracted by these worldly things that we're going to let this world take our eyes off of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Are we going to do that? I'm being real here with you guys. I'm being real. I'm being a brother who cares and loves all of you dearly. With unconditional love. I learned that. I learned that love. For the past 30 years, I've been learning even more about it. He gave me a wife. He gave me a wife. Man, I, I was the type of guy, man, I, wasn't, I didn't want to give nothing. I'm serious. I wasn't very much of a giver. I gave you trouble. All kind of trouble. Now, I had a big heart now, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't much of a giver. I kept everything to myself, so I was selfish. And then God blessed me with a wife that gives everything. And she loves giving. You see, well, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them this, uh, and I'm looking at what? <laughs> you going to give them what? <laughs> <laughs> but as the years went on, you know how you, you know you have your soulmate. That's my soulmate. It's all right. Amen. It's all right. No, no, that's my soulmate. That's right. Now that's was some things that she wasn't strong in, that I was strong in. Amen. And she learned from me. And I learned from her. You know what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> we're going to have what I'm talking about. But we can't allow ourselves to let this world dictate to us who we are. We can't, brothers and sisters. We can't. Let me finish this. I want to drop down because I just want to make sure I get, a, get you guys out on a, in a good time. Let's go to Peter, Peter's final work. Come on. In 3, 17 and 18. He says, you already know these things, dear friends. Notice how you call you dear friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm reading out the New Living Translation. I love that Bible because it makes you understand it better. But he calls us dear friends. He said, be on guard. Yeah. Be on guard. Yeah. We got to be on guard. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. We got to be on guard for our children. Yeah. We got to be on guard for one another. Yeah. We have to be on guard. Oh, yeah. The wild of the devil. The wiles, you know the word wild, this means the tricks yeah. that the devil has. Yeah. And you know what? He knows, the devil knows you too. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He knows your weaknesses. Yes. And that's what he's going to attack. That's right. So if you are too busy make, following what the world said and not putting anything that's spiritual to help you combat. Yes, sir. Yes. Those things that yes. the devil throw at you, then he will continue yes, to beat you. That's right. And you'll continue to give yourself up to him. He says, then you will not be carried away by the errors of these wicked people and lose your own secure footing. Mm -hmm. Verse 18, rather you must grow in the grace mm. and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. You know what? I, I, I love this in First Peter, I think it's chapter two, where he talks about that you need to grow. Yeah. Yeah. He talks about a growth. Mm -hmm. He says, newborn babes desire yeah. the sincere milk of the word that you may grow. Yes, sir. That you may do something that is very important. That word grow means for you to mature. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you can still be 86 and still learn how to be mature. That's right. Just because you've been in the body for 40 years, that don't mean you are mature. You know? So if you can't tell me. Right. I've been here 40 years. Well, okay, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> we know you've been here 40 years. We know that. Uh, okay. <laughs> we need to mature. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Grow. Yeah. We need to grow. Yes. Now, this congregation, people may come in here and look at it and say, oh, man, we can build it on it. But I'm telling you, we have a whole lot of mature Christians yes. here. Amen. Amen. A whole lot of them. Mm -hmm. Now here's the sad thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sad thing is that when you think you are, but you're not. I'm just saying. <laughs> he talked about us to beware. Amen. Amen. Keep yourself lined up with Christ. Yes. Listen, listen, I'm bringing this thing then in. I love my brother Peter. Yeah. yeah. I love him because he has a, a message. That's why he wrote these books yeah. Yeah. in the Bible. These books are here to encourage us to understand yes. the suffering. Yes. You know what Frederick Douglass says? <coughs> there is no progress without suffering. Right. And some of us don't want to suffer. Oh, my Lord. No, no, some of us don't want to suffer. The Bible says, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Huh? So that means that we're going to suffer as Christians. Yes. You know what suffering does? Yeah. Yeah, but we don't want to go through that. Man, listen, right now, I got to hear it. Okay, it's time. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, right. My wife's dead. What? what? <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I've been living, I don't know how many years, 
not being able to hear myself. And that's not good. But when I put the hearing aids on,
between now and July, we will have other tests run in the bottoms. So that's where we are right now. Thanks a lot of people here has been giving me a lot of good information. Yes. A sister Marie talked to me this morning about some things that I hadn't even thought about. So some things that we're going to do. And uh, we welcome everyone because I know a lot of people have gone through the same uh, things that Carol is going through. And like Carol said, he's a member of the, uh, of the cancer club now. <laughs> I thought he'd be, but yeah. now he knows what you guys went through. Yes, yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I just want to um, tell my church family this morning that I, my, I, I'm blessed this yes. morning. When uh, Patricia and Mary came back to church, that was my blessing. Yeah. And I just want to tell them both that I am so proud of y'all. Yes. Amen. Y'all have picked up my slack. <laughs> so it doesn't look like I'm lazy. <laughs> but I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of them. And I just want them to continue doing Amen. what they do. Yes, Amen. 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 Amen.
so please let me get this man so that you can say as they pass out. Just something to say thank you for being a father of all. Matter of yes. fact, make sure you stay here. I'm not going to you to stand up. We just want this miss. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And if you stand up, we'll know who you are. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to be here in this place. Dear God, thank you for your main service. Yes. Man, share with us. <laughs> From a word for you. Yes. You gave him that word. Yes. That's his sermon. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you for letting him share with us today. Yes. Bless his life, bless his family, yes. bless his ministry, yes. bless his love for you, yes. bless his family that supports him in every day. Yes. And for today, the Master, this moment we pray that you bless all of those, the Master, who has served as fathers. Yes. Bless them to continue. Yes, Father. Help them to know the job well done. Yes, Lord. Yes. The master, we've not been perfect. Mm. But yet we thank you. Because in all our humanness, mm. you still love us. Yes. yes. Help us to have a good rest of the day. Yes, Father. And we pray that you'll just bless us. As we live down here in this world. Yes, to remember we are your children. Yes. And share that with you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 Don't move. Don't move. Please don't make me change. <laughs>